Burnzilla in the Art of the Iwi here with uh, sample modeling clarinets, the great clarinets from samplemodeling.com and uh, doing all of this in Ableton Live 9. Just want to show you my basic settings that I uh, set up for these that I found that I really like. On the front right away, uh, one of the things I like to do is take the pitch bend up completely off and take the pitch bend down to uh, about one and a half steps. Uh, also down here, I like to take the key noise away. Important thing is to set your portamento time to CC. I'll show you why when we turn to the back. And your attack dynamics to expressive. You can also kind of dial in the sound that you like by using these formant and uh, modal resonance sliders and uh, harmonic structure and to a certain extent the subharmonics here. I like to take the dynamic pitch influence down. Now when we go to the back of this, click on the options button right here and uh, the main thing over here is on these mappings. I got my breath to expression CC64 which is under my glide strip these days is for portamento time and CC1 mod wheel is under my upper plate. I've got that set to flutter tongue. Uh, the, uh, some of these you can adjust a bit to your taste, the temperament, and uh, the attack start time. I like to make sure and tur turn the key switching octave transposition completely off. Uh, and then uh, I get this uh, portamento max time down, down low here. So see, now I have it set up so my upper plate gives me gives me that flutter tongue and when I use my glide strip okay that works great that way uh, turn this back around and see what's going on Works good, real responsive. I've got it transposed to be a B flat clarinet because I'm getting ready to. Uh, I've already played a uh, jazzy Bach clarinet trio in here, which I'm going to play at the end of this as soon as I describe these a little more. So stick around for that. Now, I made my uh, alto clarinet here on track two by using the bass clarinet and just transposing it up to three semitones. So I'd be any flat. You can see here I used a little different settings on this uh, for the tone qualities here. Uh, I didn't take as much of the uh, key, no key noise away on this one. And then options on the back, say I have it set up the same way. CC2 to expression, CC64 to portamento time, CC1 to flutter tone. None of these other numbers matter. I mean, you can use it for uh, some things. Now, see, I need to take this overblow off of CC64 because I don't want that there when I engage it. Same thing over here. I actually want to bring this portamento time down some more. Don't want it too much because it, it really sounds uh, unnatural. So here's the uh, alto clarinet. <laughs> Of the bass clarinet, and then uh, my bass clarinet here. Get it back for us. Oh, there it is. Get you on screen. There it is. Uh, of course, we weren't hearing any of these. Sorry about that. Let me go back to this alto clarinet. There, got that nice low C bass clarinet. All 
right, so that's that. Now, here we are in uh, Ableton Live, and I've got, uh, I'm going to do this jazzy Bach thing. I'm just going to let it play. I've already recorded it. I've got clarinet, alto clarinet, bass clarinet that uh, I recorded. I recorded the upright bass, which happens to come from the upright bass uh, patch and sample tank from my 51 combi, and I just used a jazzy drum loop. So let me play this for you. Here is uh, SampleModeling.com Clarinet Trio featured on uh, Jazzy Bach Invention number one. Check it out. Bernzilla and the Art of the Iwi with SampleModeling.com clarinets. They're the best ones out there. They were great with your software. Fun recording things. Jazzy Bach Trio. Hope you like it. I teach all of this and more on Skype. Hit me up. Jazzywe. Jazzywe at gmail.com. Experiment. Have fun and be musical. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>